Welcome back. Today was day three of the confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. And today started a lot like day one began with the two sides arguing over the release of documents. Democrats are angry that the hearing started without them having access to tens of thousands of documents, many related to Kavanaugh's time working in the Bush White House. They're also upset that much of what they do have is labeled confidential so the public can't see it. Today, Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey threatened to release some of those documents, then he followed through on that threat. Here's that exchange from this morning. I, I will say that I did willingly violate the chair's rule on the committee confidential process. Uh, I take full responsibility for violating that, sir. And I violate it because I, I sincerely believe that the public deserves to know this nominee's record. There were very serious charges that were made against me by my colleague from Texas. I, I don't know if they were political bluster or sincere feelings. If what he said was sincere, there actually are Senate rules governing the behavior of senators. If he feels that I and now my fellow colleagues who are with me have violated those rules, if he is not a tempest in a teapot, but sincerely believes that, then bring the charges. May I read the um, Senate Rule 29-5, the standing rules of the Senate for the benefit of all senators. Any senator, officer, or employee of the Senate who shall disclose the secret or confidential business or proceedings of the Senate, including the business and proceedings of the committees, subcommittees, and offices of the Senate, shall be liable if a senator to suffer expulsion from the body and if an officer or employee to dismissal from the service of the Senate and to punishment or contempt. So I would, uh, I would uh, correct the senator's statement. There is no rule. There is clearly a rule uh, that applies. Then apply the rule and bring the charges. One note, NBC is reporting that this could have been a little bit of political theater. Here's their quote. Lawyers for, the Bush and, for Bush and the Department of Justice reviewed requests from Booker and several other Democrats to publicly release certain committee confidential documents related to Kavanaugh, according to Bush lawyer Bill Burke. That request was granted Wednesday night, said Burke, in a statement accusing Booker of histrionics. One of the big issues at the hearing is the Mueller probe and executive power and authority. Here, California Democrat Kamala Harris grilled Kavanaugh about that. Have you discussed Mueller or his investigation with anyone at Kasowitz, Benson and Torres, the law firm founded by Mark Kasowitz, President Trump's personal lawyer? Uh, Be sure about your answer, sir. Um, well, I'm not remembering, but if you have something you want to... It's a really specific question. I would like to know the person you're thinking of, because what if there's... I think a... you're thinking of someone and you don't want to tell us. Did you speak with anyone at that law firm about Bob, Mo Bob Mueller's investigation? I, I'm not remembering anything like that, but I want to know a roster of people and I want to know more. So you're not denying that you have spoke with well, anyone? Well, I, I said I don't remember anything like that. One more clip for you. Connecticut Democrat Richard Blumenthal, he asked Kavanaugh how Kavanaugh would handle a case involving the president. I would like your commitment that you will recuse yourself if there is an issue involving his criminal or civil liability coming before the United States Supreme Court. To be consistent with the principle of independence of the judiciary, I should not and may not make a commitment about how I would handle a particular case. All right, gentlemen, a lot to digest through here also. Let's start with where we think we are after three days of Kavanaugh hearings, how he's handled it, uh, the process, but also uh, the optics of it all, Richard. He's smart. He's a competent judge. In the end, what the Democrats and the Republicans are going to have to figure out is whether they want to confirm a guy who is likely to reverse Roe v. Wade and is likely to support a, a hard right agenda. And that's a legitimate thing for both Democrats and Republicans to think. I think, actually, he did not do very well in evading a lot of the questions that were asked. Because the questions were, that he were asked were not how are you going to vote. The questions he was asked were about things like, did you contact somebody in the mm -hmm. office? And um, his clear intellectual and judicial ability is being obscured by, on the one hand, his his ideology, on the other hand, by his evasiveness, and I don't think he helped himself. Dominic, how do you think Kavanaugh's doing? I think the problem that, that many Democrats and, 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 and <laughs> much of the country have with uh, Judge Kavanaugh is that 
He's very polished. But the problem is what what in lies after the fact that he's very he's very likable to the camera in terms of his image. He you know, he's done all the right things in his career, uh, coaching basketball, community and so on. But on the issue of Roe Ro v. Wade, I, it, it has been clearly established by the Democrats, as Mr. Brodsky said, that he they believe that he's going to overturn this and, and he is the key vote. So he's polished. I return to the word polished, but yet notice I don't recall on many yeah. of the answers. I don't have memory of that. But Bill, nothing politics nothing talk. was seen in, the, in three days of hearings that leads you to think that he's going to lose any of the 52 Republican votes in the no. Senate. And, and to me, this and I don't, I don't mean to be disparaging in saying this, this is all political theater. That's what this is. He's going to have the votes at the end of the day. Uh, go this, this is a slam dunk. Snow it's going to happen. And, and Lind, uh, uh, what's he may get some Democrats. Alaska. He, he may get some Democrats. Yeah, I mean, but... But th this, th w if if this were about Plessy v. Ferguson, the de the school the case about school segregation, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, the the 54 reversal of that, and he said I'm gonna re I'm gonna repeal I'm gonna oppose that decision that dealt with integration of schools. Would you vote for him? But he's but he's not gonna say that. You can you can see him. Okay. He's a he's a very bright guy. He knows how to answer questions. He's well prepped. He's not giving any it's details on any of that. So, and, and there's but, a reason and, and, he can get away with but, that. But, but Bill, but, but, and I, res done. I respect what you, it, it is done. It right. is done. I think but, Booker wins but, in the Democratic Party for this. Perhaps. He, but He's but, had good but, face time. But look at what you're saying. He's a polished politician. He's going to evade the questions. Judge, jurist, yeah. He's going to evade the questions. And then he's going to do exactly what the president wants him to do. He's going to evade the questions, right. evade the questions this this is citing that he can't. of the Trump article, the op-ed. In the end, what matters is what happens to Roe v. Wade. He was either going to get rattled or, or he wasn't, and he's not going to get rattled. It's he's not about the, the horse race, it's about the issue. And just to clarify, I think you said Olympia Snow earlier. You meant Susan Collins. I did. Um, what, do, what do we make of this Booker press for these documents, the, the maneuver in possibly breaching the committee's confidentiality uh, rules, but then also j putting that in the larger context of Democrats complain that they don't have all the documents that they need or should have in addressing Kavanaugh's overall. Well, this is what I meant, and I'm le leaving any merit to that aside. This is what I meant by political theater, and is that Booker wins in this because he shows passion among Democrats that he's willing to go out there and fight, even if he gets in a little bit of trouble. They're not going to throw him out of the Senate. He wins because he's the he's the takeaway from the hearings. He's the Democrat that took on the Republicans at the hearings, and so you know he wins there. Nothing at the end of the day. That. There's nothing wrong with that. You no, know I'm saying from his perspective, he played this well. It's a smart play. The, 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 the question of the documents, again, it matters not just because we're playing a parlor game as to who gets what to see what, it's because in the end, if he really is going to vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, then you need to know that. D Dominic, does that argument resonate with people? Do, when they see the Democrats putting up this fight over documents, is that something that registers with them and maybe impacts their feeling on the nomination? Absolutely. I believe that it's another feather in the cap for Democrats come uh, the, the upcoming election in, what, 58 days, give, give or take the midterm elections. I, but what I, what I worry about for the country is that our politics are so polarizing that in institutions like the Senate, apparently, we're not even respecting rules anymore. That's and right. and on that's, both sides. that's that right. on both sides. That's, that's right. not a reflection on Senator Booker or anyone else. That's right. We're not respecting rules. So so and, and on uh, for the Democrats, how the important seat that Brodsky said, and, and you don't have the ne necessary paperwork to to accurately judge this man. So at what point does the posturing and the partisan politics stop? Yeah. Last, last, well, question, last question on this topic, and I want to address it to the attorney at the table. You heard some of the questions from Kamala Harris to Kavanaugh. What was your, she sounded like she had something in reserve there, that she was asking a question she knew the answer to. She's a lawyer. She can sound that way whether she does she, or, or she doesn't. But do you, do you think she's got something I, more there? I, do you, I haven't the slightest idea. The suspicion was that, that uh, Kavanaugh had spoken to somebody at Kasowitz's law firm? Uh, it, it, it's possible, and if so, it's relevant and should come out. Right. And, and that's one of the places he looked evasive. All right. We'll move on. When we come back, the church abuse scandal hits close to home once again as the Attorney General of New York starts probing every diocese in the state. We'll have the very latest next.